Okay. Onwards I go. Gah. Hate this thing. It does drop a revolve, so that's about the only good news here. And it can't really follow me up higher places easily. Duh. Okay. looking at here. I need to go down first. What did I just grab? Okay, only thing that was here was the pot, huh? Can I even make that jump? Holy crap. Nope. Damn it, it's, I'm taking so much damage now. Oops. Can I, how do I get up there? Is there a path I can jump from? Oh, I see. Is there? I don't know. What's the trick to getting there? Maybe I have to go up higher. Let's just clear every enemy here first and worry about it later. Oh, I see. Aha! Ah, so close. If I see what I need to do, I think. It's kind of tricky. I don't know why Adol can't just jump the freaking grass. This grass is evil. Alright, got the Catal Elixir. I see, one of them actually dropped an illusion mirror. I didn't think that was possible. Anyways, that's all the berm leaves I need. Uh, with that, I should just head on over to the next screen. Uh, 
I have to turn the pages in my guide real quick. Gah. This is really intense. <sighs> so... Uh, which way do I have to go? Using. Oh no, not these things. Holy shit, that thing is huge. Ah, damn it. Which way do I want to go first? Okay, it says to go east first. Huh. Doggy! Adol? What are you doing here? Adol told Dogi about the events that led him to Elder Mountains. Man, you've been busy. The Master filled me in on a few things too, and I definitely think we need to get all the statues before McGuire does. But as you can see, we seem to have reached an impasse. Like, a big-ass gorge kind of impasse. In other words, I need to use my wind magic. I searched everywhere else, so I figure Elder statue must be somewhere on the other side. But when you know it, you'd have to be able to fly to get over there. There's gotta be a way. Uh. Star. Nice moves, Adol! Only problem is, they don't help me in the slice. I can't possibly join you. Guess you'll have to go it alone from here. Why couldn't they just give Dogi his own artifacts so he can fly? Oh, before you do, there's something I meant to give you. Here, catch! The Terra Bracelet. <sighs> but at least one topaz I can do a charge attack, huh? Break through certain walls and cracks. I ran across that while searching the mountain caves. I noticed it looked like the other two bracelets you were using, so I figured I'd hold on to it for you. Alright, show stealer, I won't hold you up any longer. I can tell you're re ready to go. Good luck, man. I'll be waiting right here for you. Bored, stupid, so make sure you hurry back, okay? Oh shit, I can... Eggs! Yeah, that's supposed to be a, 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 something I can crack. Whoa. Oh no. I need to escape. This is too hard right now. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't want to lose the Earth Bracelet. I'd rather have to do most of it over again. I'll bet you can use a bracelet to cr break through cracked walls pretty easily. If you see any weak looking walls, just think of me and give them a good shoulder check. Show them who's boss. Yeah, you're kind of obsolete now, aren't you? Ah. 
Ah, uh, run. There's a save point here, so now I don't have to go for everything again. And with this topaz, I can now do charge shots with my bracelet. Yes. Ah, uh, finally. Still gonna be tough dealing with all these enemies. I may just stay behind the grind for a while. Oof. Before I forget, I have a delivery for you. Mr. Edel, are those really berm leaves? Can I have the um, please? I can use them to save my pickards. Yes. Really? Yay! Thanks, Mr. Adol. I think I have plenty now. Savior of Swine Achievement. You're awesome, Mr. Adol. Thanks to you, they're all gonna get better. Oh yeah. Around here, when somebody helps you, you give them a thank you gift. It's like they've all gone away, so here's my gift to you. Catal Elixir. I do believe you saved my pickards, mister. Thanks so much from me and them. Okay, use up an elixir and hopefully last one hit point longer. Ugh. Even the random enemies are getting really tough. Okay, there's a revolt chest that I skipped here because there are too many of those damn ice monsters. Even then they have a huge advantage here. Ugh. Okay, now I got it, and I don't care about killing these guys while they're on their turf. Yep. Okay, now I'm in this area. Go in here. Oh boy, more of these things. Anyways, first up, I don't think it's possible to really clear map 7 without the shoe, so I might as well drop down and go get that real quick. Oh crap, I'm at a huge disadvantage. Oh shit, they're everywhere! Oh shoot. Ha! Huh. Unfortunately, I just don't want to fight that many of them, holy crap! So many, seriously. Um. Get out. Whoa, where am I now? Huh, this is weird. So, there was supposed to be an urn somewhere over there. Okay. Yes! Sweet! Got the... Got one of them. That said, I... I want to head back to town just so I can upgrade something, and because it'd be... It would suck to lose all my progress right now, you know? Yeah, that was a... That was a pretty good ninja run through all those enemies. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, Antonio, you mentioned something about the stone shoes, didn't you? Um, I'm wearing them right now. Can't you see them? Come on. I thought they'd acknowledge that. You'd say, wow, I, uh, too bad I probably can't buy it off you since you actually need to go in that ice cave. Let's imagine that's what he would say. Okay, there's supposed to be some kind of secret here. Oh shit. Okay, spear cape get. And now I have to escape, because these guys are way too strong at, for my current level. Okay. Let's hope there's no enemies in this room.
Well, there is, but it's not too strong for me. Money and enough revolt to fully upgrade my armor. Yes. There's one more place I can get to, but it's also guarded by those really high level enemies, so I'm gonna save that for way later. Way, way later. It's like endgame tier shit. Alright, here we go. Uh, really no place to hide, huh? Ugh, that was close. It's really easy to slip and fall in that area. Uh, uh. Oh shit, I need wind magic. Seriously, anything I need to worry about here? Yeah, this thing. Ah, uh, what am I looking at here? Does this thing really work? It does, but it's just so slow. Where am I going? Damn, that was bad. Got caught off guard, but at least I got the treasure. How was that thing? I don't know. It's so. Uh. What the hell is that down there? How do I get to it? Well, I'm here now. Oh shit, that was a mistake. Be right back. Okay, now I have it. Okay, now I can go back down. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to walk back. Just be right back. Okay, made it back to the other side. Oh man, how far am I? 
I still got a ways to go. Oh man, look at these guys waiting for me to drop down. Ah, uh, that was close. Hold that for a stupid pot. Now I have to go back down. Gah, this next part is gonna be tricky. Huh? Where? How do I get up here? Crap, I have no chance to go the other way, huh? Yeah. Oh man, this part's gonna be dangerous. Okay, chest is mine. Guitar elixir is mine. Ugh. Whoops. Stillness broken. This should be the safe cave. Where is the safe point they put really far away, didn't they? Seriously. But it's mine. I may want to level up a bit first. It's now or never, I guess. Time to learn this boss somehow. It's a giant clump of ice. Faint sounds of breathing can be heard emanating from within. I'm not used to using earth magic, so this is going to be a really tough fight. Seriously, he already starts off with an attack like that? Ah, uh, does so much damage. Play. Uh, I think this guy actually gave me more trouble than Chester. Whenever it does its win move, it you cannot actually stagger it. You have to wait until it's in its one of its normal attack phases, like when it's just trying to bite you or something, or doing its stomp move. Once it starts doing that wind thing, nope, no stagger, no knocking him down, no breaking his toes, 
No breaking his kneecaps like a mafia boss. Yes, Adol is a mafia guy. <laughs> uh, I am not very good at approaching the boss when it doesn't stomp move. So that really, really made the battle way harder for me than it should have. Yeah. Gah. And it's really hard. Due to the, the color of the icicles, it's sometimes hard to tell where the icicles actually are. So yeah, it's pretty easy to get clipped by them. This boss actually has a higher attack stat than the next boss, which is a huge reason why you can't take too many hits at all. Even with maxed gear. store bot gear, that is. Ah! I think I slightly reduced it by using magic. Maybe. Uh, I have to waste magic just trying to protect my own ass. Uh, smack you in the head. Yeah. Oh no. Good. It's best to just stick to one side and hope. You don't waste. Uh, you don't have to use all, all of your earth guards. You're gonna need them as soon as you hit the ground. See? Yeah, this boss really, really trains you to use your earth guard, or else. That's probably one reason why I found it hard in Chester because I wasn't really used to using earth guard in such a situation yet. Ah. Okay, back to no. Never mind. It, yeah, in the in the last bits of its hit points, it it tr tends to stay in the air more. Does not give you as many opportunities to try to strike its feet. Also, even if you try manage to hit it with Earth Guard while it's trying to grab you with its mouth, it won't actually damage it for some reason. I think that's kind of an oversight. You didn't think logically that would work, right? Right? God, I saw so much more hit points to go through. No, 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 no! Why is that one still standing? Why is that I one lone icicle still standing? Did it just not get the memo that it's supposed to ram into at all? And there goes all my earth guard. Foolish of me. I probably could have saved the charge if I was a little smarter. See, I always double tap when I'm not supposed to. That always screws me over when it comes to these Earth Guard required fights. Uh, huh? Oh, there's the there's the rock. All right, and that uh, strange. It didn't serve its wind move. Unfortunately, I probably wasted that Earth Guard on its feet because it was uh, because that's when damage to its feet doesn't seem to register at all. Ah, got you now, punk! Uh, I really wish there was a better way to activate boost. Maybe if I had a f could program a foot pedal, then that would let me activate boost without having to worry about dexterity issues. <coughs> I don't know, it'd be kind of silly to buy a, f a f pedal controller just for an action RPG, huh? But there are a lot of controls to keep track of here. Yeah, I wasted one of those charges. Shoot! Right now I only have one topaz, so it takes forever for the damn thing to charge up. Yeah. No. Almost there, at all. Scott knocks him down. Yeah. No. It was wasted, and I, and my entire bar, curse you. Even though I already won, it still kind of sucks watching me fail like this. 
Oh no. Yeah. Probably gonna capture me as well. No. Oh no! I w lost my opportunity! And I gotta wait for him to fly around again. Uh. Is it stomping move? Ah! Got you now! Haha! -ha! The dragon has been slain! Yes. And let's see that statue. The light statue! Even though it used ice magic, it's still, we got the light statue. And something hep is happening due to having all four statues. Hopefully this doesn't result in any unintended consequences. Yep, they're resonating. And... Um, might have caused a cave-in. Shoot. As light faded, the entire cavern grew deathly quiet. Gah! Seriously, I'm slightly ashamed I had to be overleveled, but... Yeah. I think it's more... Uh, really, maybe I should just start playing on hard mode instead, since... Nightmare mode I can just barely do. And, well... Yeah, I'm pretty much scared to upload the entire uh, uh, upload uh, the run like a normal RPG because I'm not even sure I can finish it. Giant dragon that attacks with icy breath and a storm of ice shards. Once charges for taking a sacred mountain, but turned mad with boredom over the years. Guardian of the light statue. Got bored, huh? The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the Terra Bracelet. Adol is trapped! Hey! Is that you in there, Adol? Are you hurt? Adol shouted back that he was uninjured. Glad to hear my little buddy's okay. That quake caused some of the crevasse walls to collapse. I managed to pick my way across, though. But now we've got to do something about these rocks. Adol, I'm gonna need you to step back for a second, okay? Here we go! Yeah! That's why I'm screaming. Wall Zero, Dogie the Wall Crusher, like a million. Who needs doors when they got me? So that's why he gave me a tarot bracelet. He doesn't need it at all, it's redundant for him. And he's actually better than the tarot bracelet, apparently. Damn. A shame he will never be a party member until E7. That was a new record too, I think. Never took down Solid Rock before. Should get me in the history books. So, looks like you found another statue. Is that all of them? Come on, let's head back to the Master's house. Man, if they just gave him some Claria gloves, I bet he could take on the likes of Dark Fact, Dallas, and Darm. Just punch them really, really hard or something. So hard that Black Pearl shatters into a million pieces. Huh. <sighs> You know, we could just teleport there instead. No, we, uh, Togi doesn't have the wing. Chester, you're here. Hm, of course, I've been kept well apprised of your actions. Seems you've found I have all four statues now. So, as I said before, I think you'd best give them to me. Chester, there's just one thing I need to know. What are you planning to do with these statues? Mere knight does not question the motivations of Count McGuire. Though I cannot entirely plead ignorance, as I've heard some rumblings on the nature of his glorious plan. <clears throat> That's not why I asked you. I want to know what you plan to do with them. How long have you known? <laughs> I knew from the very beginning. 
I didn't believe for a second that you felt such contempt towards Elena. That's just not you. And I really couldn't see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as McGuire. Not willingly, anyway, so I figure you've ha got to have something else up your sleeve. Hmph. Your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Out with it, Chester. Where are you really up to? Very well, I suppose this is as good a time as any. What I seek is revenge. Revenge? You were born Falgana, so undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island, no? Uh, uh. I've never told you this before, that, but that is the land where my sister and I were born. What? Wait a second. I've always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague or something. Indeed, we speak of the same place. However, it was not plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Monsters? Yes, monsters with the appearance of human skeletons, clad in armor. Mean like those skeleton things that were kept beating the shit out of me earlier? They appeared out of nowhere and simply started massacring all the villagers. Our warriors fought back, of course, but the creatures just wouldn't stay dead. We stood no chance. In the end, Elena and I, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. But why? Why would monsters suddenly just appear like that? It was no random occurrence, and there I lies the rub. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. He enlisted the services of a dark sorcerer for the task. My people were the descendants of Genos himself. We were charged with guarding the holy artifacts that had locked away a demon lord's power to prevent their misuse. I would assume McGuire simply considered us a threat to his ambitions. And that's how my sister and I were orphaned and came to live with the mayor of Redmont. It's no surprise that Elena's Memories of these events have been suppressed, given their extreme horrific nature. Then, you want revenge on... On McGuire, yes. He will be destroyed by the very power he so desperately seeks. And he won't be the only one. I intend to see to it that every living creature in Valestine Castle burns in hell. Perhaps then, the wounded, defiled souls of my ancestral people can finally know true justice. At long last, after all these years, their anger and hatred will be appeased. And eliminating the parasitic slime who sits on Valstein's throne will benefit the entirety of Falgana as well. Now then, why don't you hand over the statue so this can all fall into place? Why do you need a statue to take, to take down Lord McGuire? Given how strong you are, you could probably lop his head off once his guard is down. To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to react to all of this. I can't pretend to know how you feel. Just hear me out on one thing. Let's just say your plan succeeds and you do get your revenge. What then? You think it'll make Elena happy? Hell, would really even make you happy? Sure, McGuire might be a horrible man, and he may even deserve what you're playing for him. But imagine how Elena would feel, knowing the depths you've sunk to in the name of vengeance. Do you think she'd be proud of what you accomplished? If you just step back and think about it, I know you'll find some other, less drastic way to deal with McGuire. If I explain everything to the townsfolk, they'd understand, and I bet they'd do what they could to help too. If everyone banded together, we could drive McGuire out of Algana for good, send him into exile. You don't have to disgrace yourself over scum like him. So come on. Please, Chester, you have to put a stop to this before it's too late. Come back to town with us. You can all sit down and have a good time, maybe enjoy one of Elena's home-cooked meals. Look how far I've come, though. Do you honestly believe I can go back now, after all this? No. There's no turning back for me! Ah! Chester! You stupid son of a bitch!
There's still time to save him. If you want him to live, give me the statues. Now! Ello gave the statues to Chester. Excellent. Now I can use the power of these statues to hurl all of Castle of Alstein Castle into the darkest depths of hell. I hardly need to say at this point, but you may wish to reconsider trying to stop me. Unless, of course, you want to end up like him. I can't believe Chester attacked Dogi. This is all my fault, actually. Twelve years ago, I served as a Valestine Knight. I was there on Genos Island that day. All the knights were. Our task was to provide backup for McGuire's sorcerer. In other words, we were to man the sidelines and terminate any villagers who tried to escape. And we did just that. But then I met the Stutter children, and despite my sworn oath to McGuire, I couldn't bring myself to harm them. I hid them instead and snuck them away from the carnage. But I knew I couldn't raise them. So I left them with the mayor, and shamefully ran away to this godforsaken shack. I spent my day slowly unraveling McGuire's plans and researching the old tales of Genos and Galbalon. Chester never knew of my knighthood, but he was well aware I'd saved his life, so he and Dogi would often visit. As such, while secretly investigating McGuire, I also took it upon myself to train the two of them in the art of war. Dogi's departure aside, things continued in this manner until just last year. Around the time monsters started appearing all across Valgana, Chester came to see me, in quite a panic. The monsters had brought his memories of Genos Island to the surface, and he had no idea how to cope. I told him everything, every single thing I knew about his past and about my role within it. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I suppose I was looking for some manner of catharsis. But all it did was ex exacerbate Chester's desire for revenge. To be perfectly honest, I haven't the slightest idea what Chester intends to do with the statues. But if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, I doubt there's much hope of take talking him down. If we let him continue unchecked, the damage he inflicts won't be limited to Valestine Castle, but all of Felgana. At all, I must ask that you go back to town immediately and tell Mayor Edgar everything that's happened. <coughs> You needn't worry, I'll take care of Dogi, and once he's back on his feet, I intend to pay the castle a visit. I also saw a look of pain flash across Dogi's face, and wish he could offer some comfort. Hey, do, do the character pages update at all? <clears throat> no, it just gives you their first impressions. A shame. Yeah, and Forever's Home, uh, I asked the developer if he could make an update where th they could update, <coughs> where as you go progress in the story, some of the character profiles would change. That was a pretty nice touch to get Zero's thoughts on the situation. Uh, I was hoping they could implement something similar here. Don't worry about him. He's in bad shape, but he's also one hell of a fighter. All he needs is some rest and he'll be out of the woods in no time. Leave him to me. I'll make sure he survives. You just go tell Mayor Edgar what's happened here. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching me break Gildias' foot repeatedly, please leave a like and subscribe.